Hi and welcome, my name is Chris and in this episode I will teach you guys how to make 30 series cards work with your system. Now um, there has been some compatibility issues with the 3000 series and the X570s. Now we can see we have a fully working system here. I'll show you guys that on the video we have everything working with a RTX 2070. I'll let you guys see what happens when we install a 3070 graphics card into this system. Let's proceed. Of course, shut down your system. Make sure everything is off. This is our test bench right here. It is an X570 Phantom Gaming 4 from ASRock. And I'll show you guys the issues that are happening with the upgrade of these cards. Seventy setting aside. Here's our gigantic thirty seventy card. I put in that screw so the graphics card doesn't not sag. Get our power connections. And we'll turn the system on. Got our display here is still on orange. Got a blue light. There we go. Alright, now we're back on the screen. And we are going to install the latest drivers for this card. If Windows does not beat us to it. Alright. Go to Google. Actually, I don't need to install the driver. We are actually having the issue right now. You can see the screen is flickering on and off. And it's saying here, force to reinstall graphics driver. And then it's going to keep doing the cycle. Now, if you are experiencing this in your system after installing the latest basically drivers for the uh, 30 series card that you have, then here's one thing we can do to solve that issue. Once the screen comes back, restart the system and go ahead and tap the delete key on your keyboard so you can go to the BIOS screen. Tapping the delete key. See that problem happens when you have a uh, current driver from an older generation card and you put in a new card and it tries to update itself or uh, even if you do a clean install after downloading and reinstalling the latest graphics um, driver for the 30 series then you might experience that flickering on and off thing here's one thing we can do for it let's click on the advanced tab in the bios screen select amd pbs and under the pcie x16 bus interface let's click on gen 3 Click on exit, save changes, and hit yes. Now what this does is it um, it gives it a more compatible uh, PCIe X Plus Express uh, mode on the board with the uh, graphics card. Uh, because although it is newer, uh, I don't think honestly the technology is perfected yet. 
I think mo most um, NVMe SSDs are the ones taking advantage of those. But for graphics cards, I would seriously just give it a little more time for them to perfect the compatibility between uh, most motherboards and the newer graphics cards. So as you can see here, we are not flickering anymore. And if we look at the NVIDIA control panel, we got the 3070 here with the latest driver on there. So uh, yeah, and then we don't have the force to reinstall driver screen and we're not rebooting anymore. That basically solves the issue. Just don't use Gen 4, don't use Auto, set it to Gen 3 and you should be good. The FPS difference between Gen 3 and Gen 4 is really negligible, so I wouldn't worry about you know affecting your FPS. Probably just like two or three FPS um, difference at the moment. So until the technology is perfected, let's be happy with Gen 3 and continue gaming on our non-flickering screen here. Uh, there we go. Just to make sure nothing is uh, nothing is crashing. We'll run a small portion of this uh, superposition benchmark just for you guys to see. Everything's loading quick, no flickerings. And there you go. Everything is perfect. We are running about uh, steady 93 frames per second on this scene. Uh, down to 86 once the light turned on. So as you can see the frame rates are pretty good. It doesn't really affect the uh, the performance being on Gen 3. So with that being said, I hope this video helped you out. And if you are having issues with your system, try that and let us know how it went. And pretty much that's it. I hope this video helped. We'll see you on the next one.